I spent 48 hours learning Google Cloud functions. And after reading a ton of docs and writing a hell lot of code, I figured out the perfect hack to make our lives a lot easier. Today, we're gonna see how to go from here to here. Okay, that makes no sense. Basically, how to deploy a function from your laptop to implementing continuous deployment with preview URLs. Time to get started. After writing some boilerplate code for a while, I ended up with this project right here. It's a simple function which returns a simple JSON response. Nothing fancy. Now making this live using Google Cloud Functions is as simple as writing a single command. And just like that, the code was live. The command even gave us a URL we could use to access the function. How cool is that? But my thirst for knowledge couldn't be satisfied with just that. I had to figure out how it worked. So the command we just ran pushes our code to a storage bucket. It then triggers a cloud build job to finally deploy our code on Google Cloud Functions. Cloud build is Google's serverless CI CD solution. Think of Google's GitHub Actions. But guess what? I didn't stop here. I went the logs to figure out that cloud build was actually using build packs to make a container image. The whole thing seems to be backed by cloud run. Now at this point, I could celebrate. But this celebration didn't last for long. I mean, we gotta make things easier for ourselves. And the best way to do that is by implementing continuous deployments. Here's what I wanted to do. Whenever I pushed my code to GitHub, I wanted to invoke a GitHub Actions job which could redeploy my function. All I need to do is make a YAML file. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So I sat down to write some code. I said, write some code. God, this kid is useless. But after procrastinating endlessly, I finally prepared a workflow file for GitHub. As I said, I'm running this job whenever code is pushed to the master branch. The only thing I need to do is deploy my code on Google Cloud Functions. But now get this, our workflow will require GCP credentials. We can set those via a secret. Simply go over to the secrets page and set your credential. Don't even try. I've already deleted those credentials from my GCP account. Shit! All safe now. I then pushed my changes to the master branch after they were done. Immediately, I had a GitHub action running. And once it was done, my new version was deployed. At this point, there was nothing left to do but celebrate. But while I was busy doing that, I had a crazy idea. An idea that would change the way we review code forever. Preview environments. Let me explain. Most organizations implement a CD pipeline only for their develop or master branch. Just like what I did earlier. But what about our feature branches? The person reviewing the PRs usually has to clone the code to test things out. This takes time. Worse, it's super frustrating. What if for each new PR that we create, a new function is deployed and exposed directly to the reviewer? Also, when the PR is merged or closed, we can delete that function. This would make the reviewer's life so much easier and wouldn't even interfere with the main version. This is super simple as well. The final workflow is right here. Here we are, the final workflow. We got two jobs. One to create a new deployment whenever a new PR is made. I'm also publishing the new URL as a comment and setting the PR number as a configuration variable. The other is to delete the deployment we just made whenever it's merged or closed. Once that is pushed, submit a new PR to let the magic begin. Our GitHub action is running. And we have a comment. Let's open this URL. Here we go. You know what this means, right? Time to celebrate. Yeah, that's right. This is just a fraction of the serverless capabilities Google Cloud has to offer. And if you want to take your serverless game up a notch, you should absolutely check out this video on Google Cloud Run. Trust me, you can't miss it. Like, share and subscribe if you found this video to be helpful. And don't forget, I am your tech bot here on YouTube and hopefully in real life.